today we're going to be in Psalm 118, and uh, I love this. Uh, I was just reading through some of it, and it is um, it's interesting that so so many of our worship songs come through the Psalms. So many things that we sing, we we echo what the Psalmist wrote. Um, and uh, I'm going to kind of just, I might not read the whole thing, but I'm going to read, um, read part of it this morning. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his love endures forever. In my anguish, I cried to the Lord and he answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side, but in the the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them out. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will, I will not die but live, and I will proclaim what the Lord has done. There's so much richness in that. Um, I, there's, I guess in times in your life when you've been through hard times and you've been through things where um, you, you really didn't know where you were going to get your next answer or your next step, and life seemed like every everything was against you, maybe everyone was against you, um, if you've ever been there in verse five, in my, in my anguish, I cry to the Lord. And sometimes we, we're just crying to him. We don't even, we don't even know, know that there's an answer coming, but we're crying out to him for help. But then the, the writer wrote in, in my anguish, I cried to the Lord and he answered by setting me free. And we can always go back to the truth that he has set us free. It's interesting. Jesus hadn't come by this point. Um, it's, it's, um, but the, almost the foretelling that, that Jesus is going to come answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Um, you know, we, we go around in situations in our life and in interactions with people. And, you know, for, for my type of personality, if, if someone says one one thing to me, it can just totally shift my day. It can totally shift the way that I I interact with people during the day, and um, can really mess up the way that I focus. And I was talking to a good buddy of mine, a good friend of mine, and he said, "Are you really going to allow that one comment, that one thing, to shift your whole day, to mess up your whole day? That one that one thing you're going to allow to shift to shift your day." And maybe today we can encourage one another that um, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Men, men are fickle things. Um, men are fickle. They, you know, some, sometimes we, we say things because we're hurting. You know, I, I will react to someone and say something out of maybe hurt that I have. And um, I, I really just think this is super encouraging. Um, especially in, in verse five, I guess, it, like I said, it speaks to me because I've been there. I'm, I'm not there now, but I've, I've walked through that in my anguish. I cried to the Lord and he's answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. Um, I said yesterday how so many times I've just felt alone. I felt like, like the Lord didn't see me for a season. I felt like he had left me alone. He, he hadn't, he hadn't left me to myself, but I felt like that. And and if you, the I think for many of us, if we would just talk to someone and say, "Golly, I feel alone. I feel like um, I feel like people have have left us. I don't feel like um, people are looking to us." And in my anguish, I, I cried to the Lord, and He answered me by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. 
What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. He's my helper. He's my helper. That I will take refuge in the Lord. I hope that's encouraging to someone today. I hope that um, we're going to sing a few few songs. You know, maybe some of you are still at home and still um, still living through um, the remnants of this um, pandemic. And uh, I, I'd like to just encourage you. I want to pray over you. If you're if you're still at home and you you maybe you haven't been many places, I just want to pray a special prayer for you as you take refuge in Him, take refuge in the Lord. Would you pray with me, God? I just pray um, for that individual that maybe hasn't left home, God. Even though it's it's been a while, it's been a season of of unknown, a season of doubt. Maybe they've been crying to you, asking for help. Maybe they haven't heard your sweet voice set them free yet. And God, I just pray, Lord, that you would send peace to them. God, that they would find peace in your presence. There is only only peace truly found in you, God. And Lord, I just pray that you would comfort that. For that person that might be depressed this morning, that is waking up on a Monday morning just thinking, ah, I'm just starting the cycle again. I'm just... I'm starting the day over again and starting another week. I just pray for them, Lord. I pray that you would give them the strength to take another step, the strength to walk in you, the the, the strength to ask you for help, maybe the strength to talk to someone. But my help comes for you. Give thanks to you for your love endures forever. God, we can't understand your love. We can't understand the depth of how good it is. God, you don't leave us. us, Lord. God, we love you. As the deer panted for the waters on my soul longeth out
sing in person, sing this with me. Cause great is thy faithfulness. And great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Cause great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Man, he's been so faithful. We sang that in, in in church yesterday. And I guess the Lord is speaking. The Lord speaks different things to you through different seasons. And the riches of his love and his grace and his mercy, they, they're, they're very deep. And, and I don't really understand how much he loves me. I think, I think we, uh, we kind of get it. We kind of see it. Um, but the Lord is teaching me, you don't, son, you don't know, I guess the Lord talking to me, son, you don't know how much I care for you. You don't know how much love that there was when I sent my son to die for you. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I just pray that, uh, the Lord encourages you this morning through that. And, um, uh, thank you so much for tuning in with me. Um, look forward to this week. Um, every morning, uh, we'll be here. I'll be filling in for pastor and, uh, daily in the Psalms. Just want to encourage you. I'll pray us out. God, I just thank you again for your spirit, for your love. I pray God that you would be with us this week. God, give us, give us faith, Lord. God, when we don't have faith, give us comfort when we don't have comfort. Um, Lord, I just pray that your peace would pass all understanding, that you would go before us, that you would make the rough places plain. And uh, God, we love you. We praise you. Thank you that your love endures forever. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope everyone has a wonderful week, and we will see you tomorrow.